There um, are a number of lesson planning techniques or methodologies that um, you are free to use. Uh, we're going to highlight a couple of the methodologies that uh, we use within the program. And if you've done the Instructional Skills Workshop or 3220, then you'll be familiar with the BOPS method, which focuses on bridging in an activity, that's that hook, identifying the objective, doing a pre-assessment to find out where your learners are at. This then focuses on the presentation of the new ideas and material with interaction happening in that format. Then there's a post-assessment and the summary. And you'll notice that this follows the that seven-step method quite close. So BOPS is something that you can use. And again, if you've done the Instructional Skills Workshop uh, course, well, then we encourage you to use this method. Or we also encourage you to use a method that your institution or your organization um, uh, requires you to use. Again, it, this is up to you. The other method that we want to identify is referred to as the card method. And it really establishes four key components, but it also follows that seven-step process. So the first thing is a context. What is going to be happening? Then there's an activity that is used um, in a similar way that that hook is being used. But that activity um, requires a bit of active and dynamic learning, right? Then there's that reflection component where you ask the learner to step back and take a look at that process. Where are they at? Um, and then there's a the documentation. So this is really that summary process that you will take the learner through. Um, we've provided you a card um, uh, worksheet sample that you can take a look at and you'll see all the components. So again, it, it follows a seven-step methodology in a similar context. You've got the objection, you've got a hook, you've got the beginning, create the context, the activity. You'll notice within the reflection component, you know, there's a variety of reflective activities that you can engage on and the documentation is really summarizing these ideas and then you've got the close or the summation. Um, you've got some notes and some timing um, which will help you in that process. So again, we've uh, established or giving you a couple examples that you can use for lesson planning but we want to encourage you to use these ideas make them your own but ideally we want you to follow that seven step process because that's going to be really important and but you can shape and mold that seven step process to suit your needs and your learners needs and the needs of your organization or institution that you're working with